Who's living down there? So how are you gonna deal with that? I don't know yet. But but you can fix that eventually, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the rain is coming down from there, yeah. so, so it's an unfortunate position for the house because this L shape is kind of just holds the water. Yeah, so we're gonna have to put like a water collector or something over here. Yeah, so this is the issue guys. This is, this house had so many mud because all this water was coming down and going under the house over there. And that's why that piece of concrete is cracked and sunk right there. So this is something we need to fix. Okay, so we have some technical difficulties with the power over here and I got my best electrician on the job. <laughs> She's the one with the smallest hands. So the toaster oven has only a cord about 18 inches and we need a lot longer to plug it in. cabinets but I didn't do um, 
throughout and multiple times of cleaning that as I would do if we would keep this cabinet but since I know we're going to replace them I didn't put that much effort in there just to get it clean enough so we can touch it and we can put stuff in there so what do you think so what's the situation I'm thinking this might be a full bin it's not even real no, it's uh, something hollow or much smaller. I told you something was chewing in there. I heard that. No, 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 no! I heard that. I came out at midnight and something was scratching like, like this. That's what I heard. And then it was chewing. Did you hear it swallowing? <laughs> so, here's the thing, guys. This part of the house <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> a bit. Not, not that much, a little bit. Just that much? Probably an inch, inch small an that inch. way. So and we're planning to lift that back up. Yeah, so we have to work with the foundation stuff, yeah. which is okay with you. I would be freaking out, but you know what you are doing, so I just trust you on that. <laughs> this lovely, lovely site here. Like it's mice poop. Everywhere. Poop? Yep. Don't touch it. How do, how do you know? No. Blah. Because I know. <laughs> so I pulled out everything from the cabinet for now, but I want to talk about what are our plans. And that would be we definitely want to put a window in here. So we might going to move this refrigerator to that corner put a small narrow pantry cabinet in a corner or something like that or so, like yeah we will figure cabinet. that out that's that's and the refrigerator, yeah we maybe make, make the hole this part a little bit deeper yeah so we won't have the refrigerator sticking out that much or either window or windows we haven't decided if we want to have a double or a single I one do a single. you would do a single do okay yeah. we want to line up the kitchen over here and Pull, I mean we're not going to pull this exact the same island because we're going to take this out bring it that way a little bit and towards to that side so that way our kitchen would be more on this corner side and as I mentioned earlier we would take out this wall from here and then over here we would take this whole thing out like with the rest of the things and then we would create a full pantry a walk-in pantry a walk-in pantry so we want to have vegetables from the garden and just um so it, stores are not closed so we need a pantry anyway so that's the plan okay so this is how the garage looks like at the moment we have no mold now in the corner it's all fixed so what else you have to do here well we have to tape it and mod it yeah and then it will oh and paint oh yeah of paint <laughs> how many work left here how many days of work how many days of work well we have probably like three days at least there's no mold anymore and this is the old filter yeah this is the better side this is the better side and then this is the dusty side yeah it could have been worse I don't, I don't think so. I don't think no? we ever replace it. Okay. It's supposed to be replaced every six months or so. Well, that's what we'll do.
and because I got a few hand-me-downs from my friend and I got two very similar but those are better they are more snugly fit this is kind of big on my head so I'm going to keep those but I'm going to declutter that one This little organizing is more like just putting out a fire. <laughs> I know it will change and as a matter of fact, as I do this voiceover, I can already tell you I rearranged the things. So they look a little bit different, but at the time this is what worked the best and we still have to shuffle the things around because we are working on the floor and that means I cannot put anything to where it will be because I just have to go with the flow and work around how Joat is putting down the floor. I'll give you a dollar if you don't touch it. Put the jars out 